Oh, there you are, YouTube. Okay. That so one right there. 17, this one right here. 17 is... <laughs> Christmas vacation. Yay. Yay. One of Daddy's favorites. No, one of no. Grandpa's favorites, no, too. No, no, Nona's no. turn. No. Okay. Hand it to Sissy. All right. Let's Sissy will put it back in. Good job. Oh, uh, yeah. Christmas vacation. The Griswolds. Griswold family Christmas. Can you put it back in? Almost, 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 nope, that's the wrong one. Put it in the empty one. There you go. Great job. Good job, buddy. Nailed it. I feel kind of bad because this is one of my favorite movies to watch in this season. And I don't have much special going on today. I pretty much just filmed the title sequence. Also, you know, pu pulling the movie out of the advent calendar, then the title sequence of the film, and that was it. I don't have anything else going on. I have, well, I don't have, I gave my father one Christmas the uh, mugs, the Wally World mugs that they drink eggnog, eggnog out of. I gave those to my father for Christmas, and I didn't think to ask to borrow those for this video. That would have been a nice prop, but I didn't remember to do that. I wish I had some, you know, of my own. Now that I think about it, should I have given my father a Christmas-themed gift on Christmas? The way I look at it now that I'm older and wiser, he can't do anything with it beyond that day for another year until December rolls around. I mean, I guess he could use that mug for whatever he wants to drink out of it. It doesn't have to necessarily just be used for eggnog come Christmas time. But I don't know. When it comes to Christmas themed gifts, I don't really think they should be given on Christmas, maybe December 1st, so that the person can use that gift from December, December 1st to December 25th. Does that make sense? So that mug, again, it's just a mug. It can be used whenever you want, but because of its strong ties and associations with Christmas vacation, maybe my dad doesn't want to use it except for during the Christmas season. And I gave him a gift that he can't use, couldn't use for an entire year. So think about that. People should not give Christmas-themed gifts to people on Christmas. You just give it as a gift, just as a just because to somebody early in December, late November, after Thanksgiving meal, maybe. You know, you get together and you're like, you know what, now that we're done eating, how about I give you just a just, a just because gift? Oh, it just happens to be Christmas-themed. That's perfect because Christmas is starting now and it's going to be going for 25 plus days. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Christmas themed gifts. Uh, this movie, though, just really makes me think of my dad. We watched it a lot growing up. For some reason, I can't believe it's only 1989. A 1989 movie, it feels earlier than that. Like if somebody would have said, when did this come out? And I wasn't looking it up and I didn't know. And this is something that came up maybe two years ago is when I realized, oh, this is an 89 movie. I would have guessed 86, 87, perhaps. I just feel like it's been in my life longer the 1989 because my dad loved it so much we watched it you know every Christmas season and it just I don't know but it, it does it seems like something that's been around me longer than just 1989 but it hasn't came out what did I read December 1st I think maybe uh, 1989 same year Batman came out 89 Batman you know the one with Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson. 
This movie has a lot of good sight gags. Like the <laughs> sledding scene. He gets ready, you know, to sled down that hill. And then we have a cut. And then the next thing we see is just a line of fire, like Back to the Future, down that hill. And later we get another sight gag with uh, Randy Quaid, Cousin Eddie, when he is, you know, pumping his toilet out into uh, the sewer. Well, it's not a sewer, it's a storm drain. Um, he holds up, <laughs> he holds up the sled and we see like a hole has been burned into it. So I just love that side gag that we get later on in the movie. Um, it's just a nice, nice little callback to a scene we had seen prior. Um, also, how long is that family at that home? How long do you have your Christmas visitors visiting your home? Usually it's just like Christmas Eve, maybe the day before Christmas Eve, and then they leave Christmas Day or the day after Christmas, right? It just feels like that family is there forever. Forever. Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. But I just, I don't know. It seems like it's something Clark wants. You know, it, started, it gets out of hand, but he really does want that whole family experience, that family Christmas. And that brings me to this movie having one of my favorite endings ever in a movie. And that's just when Clark is looking up and realizing, and he says this, he says, I did it. He, he did it. The whole movie. He's trying to create the perfect family Christmas. I don't know if you can call it perfect. A lot of problems happen, but those are great stories for him to tell later on. Remember when I set up all the lights and I couldn't get them to light up, but then it finally happened. Remember when we killed the cat? <laughs> Remember when we lit, when the tree was lit on fire? Remember when the turkey was bone dry, more so than beef jerky? Remember the cat food in the lamb jello. Remember when I bought Cousin Eddie something really nice. It's just, you know, all of these problems happen, but around that, the perfect family Christmas also happened. And I just love his face when he's looking out and realizing he did it. Everything he set out to do didn't go quite as planned but he still managed to pull off a Christmas that he could be proud of. Man, great movie, right? I mean, it's, it's hilarious, but it's also super emotional when he's just standing there, looking out, realizing what he accomplished. I love it. Such a good movie. That little cartoon segment at the beginning, really loved that when I was a kid. Now that I'm older, I mean, I still like it, but I'm just kind of like, let's, uh... Let's get to the good stuff. So that's, I think, probably the biggest change that's happened to me since watching this movie as a youngster is really enjoying that opening animated sequence. Uh, now I'm just, you know, waiting for, waiting for the live action part. Nothing against the live action sequence. It's, or sorry, nothing against the animated sequence. It's just I don't care about it as much. <laughs> I guess. So maybe that is something against it. I don't know. I feel bad for even saying that. Um, but it's just not what I'm here for anymore. You know. Also, the Christmas Vacation song that plays during that animated sequence. They knew they had a hit on their hands because they also play it at the end of the movie. They played it twice. They knew this is a bop that really slaps. So much so that we got to put it in the movie twice. Once at the beginning, once at the end. People are going to love it. And we do. We love that song. I think it's great. I think it's one of the best Christmas songs. Where do you get it, though? I can't find it on any of these online music things. I can't even find it on YouTube. I can't, anyway. Maybe better, better people who know how to search better than I do could find it. But... It's, uh, I don't know. They, they have a stronghold on that song, and they are not wanting anybody to get a hold of it. Because I can't find it anywhere. If you want to listen to it, you have to, you have to watch the movie. 
that version anyway. There are other versions out there, but if you want to want the real version, it's in the movie. Perhaps it's somewhere else. If it is somewhere else, where can I download it for free? Or not, well, for free, I guess, for money, whatever. Is it playing on anything for free where I can just, like, put it in a playlist? You know, is what I'm trying to say. Not pirate stuff. I don't even know how to do that. Um, but, I don't know. All I'm trying to say is that song is fan Fantastic. Also, the film takes place in Illinois, much like another Christmas classic that we love so much, Home Alone. And what I like so much about the Illinoisness in Christmas Vacation is that we see we see items of clothing that people are wearing that just hammer home. They are fans of the state in which they live in. They are fans of the teams that live that. Uh, call Illinois their home. Uh, like Rusty, take him for instance. When he's in the mall, he's wearing a University of Illinois hoodie. Very cool. Love seeing that. A Bears hat. I'm sure, uh, well, we have the, the Blackhawks jersey. The famous Blackhawks jersey with Griswold on the back. I see people wearing that out in public. Uh, I'm sure there's Chicago Bulls stuff that I'm not thinking of. Cubs, Sox, they seem like a Cubs family to me, and I'm probably missing that, but I think in the original vacation we see Cubs gear. Um, but yeah, I just, I really like seeing that too. I think that's nice. Chicago, you know, Illinois, that's a great place to film a Christmas movie because you do get that snow, you know. Just like Kevin says, who wants to spend Christmas in a tropical climate anyway? He says that in uh, Home Alone 2. You remember that? quote. Let's quote it. Quote from the film. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's, it's, Illinois is the perfect place to, to host a Christmas film, if you ask me. But, um, uh, I feel like I'm going on and on. Basically, it's a very good movie, and really makes me think of my dad and he and I watching it. Um, I don't know, I, you know, probably call him tomorrow and be like, hey, <laughs> watched, watch Christmas Vacation, want to talk about it? You know, I said that I was upset that I didn't have much for this video, but now that I think about it, I have old images that I've used for when we've pulled this movie out of the advent calendar that I'm going to put in this video, or at least in the, I'll probably put it in the video, but I'll also make it the thumbnail. So you've probably already seen it, but I'll also put it in here. So this is that picture happening right now. And now that you've seen that picture, perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.